Hello everyone, Esam here with the third design tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your text come alive. So first thing I'm going to do is make a background. I do the background by clicking on the rectangle tool over my artboard and I want to click and drag over a rectangle. Now at this stage, it doesn't matter how tidy or untidy it is. It can be wonky, it can be like that because the only thing you need to remember is this black border anything that goes outside will not be printed so we need to make sure that everything we design is inside and the reason why I do make sure it's quite tidy here is because if you're aligning something to the middle of the artboard and you have this space here you might think it's not in the center because it might be here and you have all this space here so I mean it does make sense to make this as tidy as you can because we're not going to use this in the end it's going to be deleted just before the export so it's just for your sake here we go one thing you can do for your workspace is press command and uh, the quotation mark key to open up the grids and this will help you align everything to a grid if you want to use a grid at this moment we don't need to use one okay so my background is done I want to add my text here, so I'm going to use the text tool, click here, type in fish, then click the selection tool, and I have all the corners appearing. I'm going to hold shift, alt, then I'm going to go to a corner, I'm going to click and then drag until it increases in size. The reason why I'm holding shift and alt is because if I, hold sh if I don't hold shift, this happens. It's all, it's, it's really free. I mean, it moves really freely and we don't want this. If I hold shift, it doesn't move freely. It moves just in proportion with everything else. If I hold shift and alt, it, it makes changes to all the sides. So the registration point is exactly in the center. There we go. I want to align this to the center of the artboard by clicking align making sure it's aligned to the center not selection to the selection it will be aligned to this if i click both of them together first so now i would like to make this white the reason why my background is gray is because i want to be targeting dark t-shirts so white makes sense for the color now i'm going to click on my text or any object you have that you want to apply the effect to go up here to effect hover over warp option then it brings down styles these are the styles that I can choose from. So let's go through a couple of these. So for example, arc. What can the arc do for me at this moment? So when I'm applying a style, I look at the word that I have. So for example, if I have the word fish, arc is not gonna get me anywhere. Maybe it can make a some type of just some outline and I can draw a fish underneath here, but really that's not gonna do anything for a fish. Vertically, which is even worse at this, in this case because this will look great if I'm making a Wi-Fi symbol. I can have this eye appearing three times and it will look like a Wi-Fi symbol. But no, what we need is an actual fish. Okay, now I have vertical and preview selected. That's why I can see what's happening in real time. I don't want to apply this vertically because it will go up. Maybe if the fish is swimming up, it will look good, but it's too, it's too tight at the moment. I mean, it's too wide. It's not going to look good. We want this to be horizontal because our words go across then rather than coming down I have 36 zero, zero. I can change this this is how you want the fish to look vertically I mean for example this will look great if your fish is written as a shark if I was to write S H A R K this will look great because the sharks are more pointed so let's say zero, zero, 36 works best for me that's my fish, exactly how that's over there. I would like to convert this into an object because I can't make this any larger on the screen. It falls off. But if it's an object, you can make this as large as you want. What I just did, I want to object up here. I want to expand appearance and then I'm gonna to go to expand. Now it expands everything as an object. I can even click on an object and move it out of place. I can maybe add some scales in here, anything I like. 
the head was created using the path tool which I'm not going to design today this is going to be in the next tutorial and these are just really circles that's a circle as well so in the next tutorial I'm going to teach you how to make this head and for now that's it this is a very simple tutorial it took about under 10 minutes actually and yeah until the next one stay tuned let me know what you think if you want to see something different let me know and just leave a comment below or just email me my email is provided in the description and i'll also write the name of the font that i use in the description so you guys can download it too until the next video take care see you then bye